Hi, Lori here, and we're going to walk through how to change a CSV file into columns in an Excel spreadsheet that you can use for regression analysis. We're going to go ahead and use the University of California Irvine's wonderful database of public uh, databases, and we're going to use Wine Quality Red. You can see it comes as a CSV file. We're going to go ahead and save it and open it. And you can see we've got everything all in one one column for each of the rows that we've got available to us. And we don't want one column, we want multiple columns. So we're going to go ahead and highlight column A, which has everything in it. And we're going to go to data, text to columns. We've got delimited data, which means it's got a character separating the numbers that we want to move into columns. So that works for us. And it looks like we've got a semicolon here, right there. So we're going to use semicolons to indicate what we want to, where we want the separations to occur. And here is a sample of what it will look like. It looks pretty good. So we'll hit next. We want to format our column data as general. Hit finish. And there we go. We've got a beautiful now set of columns of our data. We're going to go ahead and increase the length of these by going to home and row one so we can see each of our headings for our columns and we're all set. Now we're going to go ahead and save our document, our Excel spreadsheet. So we're going to save and you're going to notice that the CSV comes up with a warning saying that the CSV doesn't contain the features of Excel. So we're going to say no, we don't want to save it as a CSV. What we want to do is save it as an Excel workbook. So we'll save, choose Excel workbook instead of CSV and we'll go ahead and find a wonderful place to save it. I'll leave it in my downloads for now. Save it. And now I have an Excel spreadsheet that I can work with for my regression analysis.